In this video, we'll finish up section 4.4, breaking it up just a bit. Um, the equation given for this example, I changed just a bit from the book one to give a different one, and uh, changing one of these things can be dangerous. It can actually work out where um, maybe our situation isn't as pretty to solve, um, or we can't actually solve. So here's an, a problem that is um, the difficulty that you will see that's totally doable. Okay, so since the right-hand side, it is linear, non-homogeneous. So since g of x is not 0, that would make homogeneous. Since it is 5t squared e to the t, um, then our guess, y sub p, is going to be ax squared plus bx plus c times de to the t. Um, so that we don't need our first derivative because our equation only involves the function, the solution, and its second derivative, but I got to get the first derivative to get to the second. So derivative of this is ax 2ax plus b. That's the derivative of the first product rule. And then I leave the first one, and I times it by the derivative of the second one, which in this case ends up being d to the et. Um, and... All right, now we have two product rules. So I got 2a times de to the t, plus I leave the first one alone, 2ax plus b, and I take the derivative of de to the t, which is just de to the t. Derivative of my second part is product rule again. So 2ax plus b times de to the t, plus the whole thing, x squared plus bx plus c, and uh, times its derivative of the second, which is just that. All right, this does make our life a little easier. Um, so I'm going to keep this. We need to use this, right? That's yp. Um, I'm also going to take y sub p second derivative, and I'm going to factor out the de to the t, and I'm going to leave it at the end. All right, so I get 2a plus 2ax plus b plus 2ax plus b plus ax squared plus bx plus c. I'm going to change um, times de to the t. If you haven't noticed that I did it from the very beginning, um, I'm not using t, I'm using x. So it's probably good to keep one or the other. Notice that the e's all have t's to it and everything else has x's. So I'm going to change this um, to t. So let's, let's do these two. So I got a t squared plus b t. I'm not going to change the rest because we're not going to use the middle one. So here's this. We're going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to use the double prime. I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms as well. So I'm going to put the a x squared up front. That's this term. I used it. And then now I'm looking for anything with x's. Oh, and we want to switch to t's. So I'm going to put this, make it a t. A t squared. Right now I'm looking for my x's. I got that one, that one, and that one. So I got 4a plus b times x. The rest are constants, so I got 2a plus b, uh, 2b, 2a plus 2b plus c. I can put the constants together as well, times de to the t. All right, now I have these two expressions cleaned up decent. And I know if I follow the DE, I can figure out what A, B, and C are. So I'm going to plug it into my beginning DE. So I got A, T, the second, plus 4A, plus B, X, plus 2A, plus 2B, plus C, times DE to the T, plus 4 times a t squared plus b t plus c um, times d e to the t. And all of that better equal 5 t e to the, at uh, 5 t squared e to the t. All right, notice everything has um, e to the t, so we're good on that. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take every single part. Um, so notice here, this t squared goes with this t squared, which goes with this term that has t squared. So I'm going to write out some equations here. I got four. I got t, um, d e to the t. So I'm gonna write that down. D e to the t 
times, okay, and I put the A's together. Two, um, we're going to put that in parentheses here. 2a to the t squared. That's that's everything with the t squared in it. Oh, that should have a 4. Let's write it out one more time. Okay, so a t squared plus that 4 goes to that a. So I get 4a t squared. And that has to equal the 5 in front of my t squared. Um, I am forgetting the d e to the t. Oh, it's out front. Cool. I was like, gosh, I'm forgetting everything. D to T is out front, and that whole term has got to equal the 5. T squared, E to the T. All right, that tells me that A plus B, or if I even take that further, think about it, I can add those A T squareds to get a 5 A T squared. So I'm going to get a 5AD t uh, squared e to the t, which gets me 5t squared e to the t. This tells me that 5AD has to be equal to 5. It's so the numbers out front. This is nice. AD is equal to 1. All right, so I have that. Now I'm going to follow the second. Let me pick a different color here for highlighting. I know that all my X's or T's have to be the same. So this should be, I put an X here, but that should be a T. All right, so looking now, this and this go together. And they're going to equal the number in front of T on the other side, which is a 0, T e to the t. So I get 4ab plus b, and that's going to equal 0, the other side. All right, so I get, I'm going to start highlighting this stuff. OK, um, we'll do it all in one color once we get there, I guess. So I get 4a plus 2b equals 0. The third equation here, let's take a look is my constant. So it's this plus any of the constants that are left, which is a c. And I actually made a mistake here. Um, this 4 has to go to both of these. So this is a 4. Um, one of these, the last one is a 4b, which means this is a 5b. There we go. Not a bad fix. All right, checking the green now. I got 2a plus 2b plus c plus 4c, because this distributes. And that's got to equal 0. So that gets me another one. I got 2a plus 2b plus 5c equals 0. OK, so I have equations here. I'm going to highlight them all with the same color. Um, we'll do this blue. So I have this equation, that equation, and then I also have this. Oh, giant mistake here. The d's also have to go in these as well. So let's rewrite these equations. We got 4ad plus bd. Um, and then we can, we got 5b, so 5bd equals 0. And then we have 2ad plus 2bd plus 5cd equals 0. There we go. Now it feels better. Everything has that double variable. That's how I was able to tell on this one. Uh, this kind of problem would not, from, I don't know. Um, it's not too bad. I would probably assessment lines look for something a little simpler. OK, so I have those three. I can find out what BD is from here. BD is, or AD is 1. So I'm going to take this equation, 4 times 1 plus 5BD equals 0. Um, so I get 5BD equals negative 4, which means BD is equal to negative 4 over 5. All right, so that's another equation I can use. I'm not going to like circle it as an answer because they're not. Okay, I have an, I, uh, an AD and a BD. Um, I could find CD now using this equation. So I got 2AD, AD is 1 plus 2bd, which is negative 4 over 5, 
plus 5CD. So this is going to allow me to find CD. So I got 2 minus 8 over 5 plus 5 over 5CD five equals 0. So that tells me 5CD is equal to, okay, so what's that going to end up being? 2 is actually 10 over 5, so it's 2 over 5, but I got to move it over so it becomes minus. Dividing by 5, be careful, those 5s do not cancel. We get negative 1 over 5 for C. All right, so I have those. That doesn't answer. I need A, B, and D. So I can take those, though, and maybe solve them all for the same variable and then solve for that variable. Um, I don't want to necessarily solve for... Let's, let's do a couple things. A, D is really easy to plug in. Um, and then this I'm going to solve for, uh, if I plug that in, then I can plug, okay, so let's do B equals negative 4 over 5D. So I'm going to use this to help with, uh, and this to plug into my first equation. So 4AD plus 5BD equals 0, and I'm going to plug in things I know. 4 AD is 1, but I don't want to plug in BD because then it won't work out the way I want. I'm going to do negative 4 over 5D instead. All right, if I keep working this out, I got 4 minus 20 over 5D, which is 0. That's 4 minus 4 over D because 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now I multiply everything by D, so I get 4D minus 4 equals 0, which tells me that D is equal to 1. Great. So now I have, I do have D, which means I can find a couple things. I'm going to highlight this or box it so I know to go back here. D is 1. I also now can find um, A. If I use A, D equals 1, and I plug in D, so A times 1 equals 1, which means A is also equal to 1. Right? And then we can find B. Um, we have a formula for B already. B equals negative 4 over BD. And then we know that, um, or 5D, sorry, not BD. Negative 4 over 5D, so that's negative 4 over 5 times 1, which means B is negative 4 over 5. And then we can find C by plugging in D to the last one. So C, D equals negative 1 over 5. If I plug in now D, I get C equals negative 1 over 5. So here's C, here's B. So now writing my particular solution, which was way up here. Um, it's right here in yellow. So A is 1, B, uh, D is 1, and then I have B and C. Okay, I get a quadratic. So, okay, I get the A, which is 1. So T squared plus B. B is negative 4 fifths T plus C. So that's minus 1 fifth times D, which is 1, E to the T. So there is my particular solution. We are done there. These take um, a lot of precision. Um, it's very, very easy to mess up um, details wise. I actually have a solution manual in front of me, so these are good. Um, I would be very careful. Full blanks of sheet paper. Uh, <laughs> sheets of blank paper start there, no lines. Try to be at least uh, the least amount as of confusing organizational wise you can. I struggled with that sentence. Pay attention to your organization. That will be the key here.